Hey everyone, Jeff here, and today we're going to review what I think is the best multiverse movie of the year on 4K. And nope, we're not talking about Doctor Strange. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel today. We're going to be diving into everything, everywhere, all at once on 4K. And you'll notice here that I have the Walmart exclusive slipcover that I purchased. So we'll talk about that as well. But in this review, we're going to cover the video quality of this 4K release. We'll talk about the audio, packaging, and special features. And then I'll give you guys a recommendation on whether or not this one's worth picking up for your collection on 4K. So diving right into the visuals for everything, everywhere, all at once, I will say that while this is is a 4k digital intermediate which was shot with digital cameras it is not the sharpest 4k picture I've ever seen especially in comparison to its already very good 1080p blu-ray disc that's included in this package so this movie has a ton of like really interesting stylistic choices and some of that detracts from a pure like great 4k image um, but it's a it's a stylistic choice by the directors and so it looks good but when you're going back and forth between different styles and different ways that this movie looks like it's not very consistent in the way it looks because it's a multiverse movie it also has flashback sequences to home videos which are you know artificially most likely pretty grainy there is some artificial grain added elsewhere in the image the aspect ratio changes when you go into those home videos versus the wider picture so there's just a lot of moving parts to this movie which probably detract from its ability to just be like the best on 4k now I will say the HDR that's added here I think that always helps that helps with color depth it helps with just depth of the picture gives it more of a lifelike realistic feel compared to how 1080p blu-ray can sometimes look a little bit flat so that is an interesting upgrade but if we're purely talking about like the detail and the quality the resolution the way that the fine edges and everything look on 4k you're going to get a pretty similar experience to what you could get from the 1080p disc. So with this one, the real selling point is HDR. Now the HDR here is Dolby Vision, also HDR10. So either of those options, uh, you'll get a pretty good experience and an elevated experience over your Blu-ray disc. So I'd leave this one up to you and your budget. They're both great options. Personally, I'd always go with the 4K because I've invested in that format, but it's just not one of those absolute must-have 4K digital intermediate that looks beautiful on 4k because of what the movie is it's nothing against the transfer it's nothing against Lionsgate it's just purely this movie is a little wacky and so it doesn't translate super well into higher resolution now on the audio side of things we have an excellent Dolby Atmos track that packs a huge punch especially on low frequency so if you're a fan of the real low frequency bass booming audio tracks Everything Everywhere All at Once from the very beginning is full of low frequency, some real hard hitting bass. The Atmos track is also awesome in this multiverse because there's so much happening at certain scenes. Atmos and that object based surround I think does an excellent job where this audio track here probably pushes reference level stuff when it comes to Atmos. Where I'd give the video maybe a 4 out of 5, I would give the audio on this a solid 5 out of 5. It is excellent. If you have Atmos, this is a disc that you're going to want to buy. Now, the reason that I say you could get away with the Blu-ray is because the best part of this release is the audio for me. And the Blu-ray, thankfully, because we're not dealing with Disney here who won't do this, the Atmos track is also on the Blu-ray. So if you do decide to save a few bucks, sacrifice HDR, and get a an amazing looking 1080p Blu-ray disc, you will still get Atmos. So that's nice that no matter which disc you buy, you're getting that reference quality track. Now the packaging here is interesting. I went with the Walmart exclusive because I loved this slip cover. I think it, it really stands out. Now I wish some of these would have been like embossed or debossed or something. I wish there was some texture 
to all the googly eyes on the slipcover, but it's still a really cool piece of art and it really ties in nicely with the movie. If only they'd get rid of the Rotten Tomatoes built in. That needs to be a sticker. If anybody's watching out there, graphic designers, artists who create these things, that needs to be a sticker that you can pull off because it sucks when it's part of the image. Now with the Walmart release, you get the same artwork on the inside. You open this up and you've got the same artwork on both your 4K and Blu-ray discs, but a little bit different than what's on the cover. That's the standard stuff. And then this does come with a digital code, which would redeem in 4K. Now there's also just the standard release, which you can get on 4K and Blu-ray, which has artwork more like the disc art, more in line with like some of the poster materials. But I always love a good, unique packaging release. And so I went with the Walmart exclusive, hard to find in stores, but I got it for $24.99 from their website and then actually grabbed a $10 movie sold by Groove through walmart.com. I got Green Book on 4K for only 10 bucks and that got me to free shipping for $35. So two movies, 17 bucks a piece, not bad, especially when one of them is a retailer exclusive uh, that's brand new. Now the special features on this are pretty light, which we've come to, you know, sort of expect from newer movies um, and there are a couple on the 4k disc but you do get an um, uh, audio commentary with the writers and directors Daniel Kwan and Daniel Sheenert so they are the Daniels when it says a film by from Daniels it's the two Daniels uh, almost everything you ever wanted to know about everything everywhere all at once that's a tongue twister but that's the name of a featurette on here you get putting everything on a bagel cooking up the multiverse very cool featurette with some behind the scenes footage and then you also get deleted scenes scenes with optional audio commentaries, outtakes, a music visual, and a theatrical trailer. So not Arrow video, not Criterion level special features of course, but decent for a new release movie. At least there's a couple behind the scenes and you do get audio commentaries from the directors if you enjoy that. So overall, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is a really fun movie. And like I said, my favorite multiverse movie of the year. I think it blows away Doctor Strange and I gotta say, I think Marvel, I think they're slipping because Doctor Strange was so hyped and it got air eh, reviews. Thor Love and Thunder's getting air eh, reviews. Watch out for Marvel slipping a bit. Happens to the best of us, but I loved everything everywhere all at once compared to Doctor Strange. The way they handled the multiverse in this movie was just incredible and I love everything that the the team the Daniels does. Swiss Army Man is just an amazing mind trip that I just enjoy so much. So I'll support anything they do because they're so unique and so interesting as filmmakers. But if you want to buy this on 4K, that is going to be your absolute top line best experience. HDR is the real selling point there and the Dolby Atmos track that comes on both versions is packing a huge punch. So it's a great disc on 4K and I'll leave a link if you want to buy that. But I'll also leave a link to the standard 1080p Blu-ray because like I said, this is the type of movie where you could get away with that if you want to save a few bucks and spend your money on other 4K releases where there might be a bigger upgrade. That's certainly your prerogative. So I'll leave a link to 4K and Blu-ray. And the great thing is if you buy the Blu-ray, you still get the Atmos, which is the highlight of this release. So thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you're subscribed and like this video so that others see it and we grow this community. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. So I appreciate all the support. Also, make sure to follow me on social media for all the latest going on in my life and my channel, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Those are the best places to find me. And of course, make sure to check out all the links down in the description for partners like Fright Rags, where you can get 10% off your order, 15% off at Umbrella Entertainment. I've got some really good discount codes coming through with partners I'm working with, and I'm not even getting a kickback on a lot of this stuff. Some of it I am, some of it I'm not. Some of it is just I want to give you guys a discount, and I have the sort of platform and power to do it now. So check those out definitely if you're interested in picking up a few movies. I know a lot of you guys have used those links and I've heard great feedback from the companies I've been working with. So hopefully we'll get more discounts like that in the future, but keep supporting those partners. It supports me and it allows us as a community to get better stuff for all of us. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy out there and I will talk to you guys soon.